the king from us. Some of us have the nerve and the unmitigated goal and the arrogance to think that our glory comes from us. No, no, no. In all actuality, if you think your glory comes from you, that's not even glory. That's just charisma. That's just charisma. That's just personality. That's just personality. That's not glory. That's personality. That, that, that might even be gift. That might even be talent. That might even be skill. But it's not glory. Oh, boy. Once before, I preached a sermon about us being light bearers and therefore glory bearers. I don't know if y'all, the word glow, meaning emanate or emit light, is the same glow that's in the word glory. Okay. So it's the sense that we glow, that we bend with the Lord. That we, mm, that we demonstrate that the Spirit of the Lord is at work in our lives. Let me, let me, let me, let's investigate. Let's investigate. Let's look at it. First off, first verse, <coughs> 2 Corinthians 4 and 1. First verse in the text. First verse in the text. It talks about, and I'm, I'm reading from the Amplified Bible, since a lot of you may not have that copy with you, I have it on the screen. It says, therefore, <coughs> Since we do hold and engage in this ministry by the mercy of God, our engagement in this ministry by the mercy of God grants us favor, mm -hmm. benefits, opportunities, and especially salvation. So beyond the benefits, beyond the favor, beyond opportunities, we have above all else, we have salvation. We do not get discouraged, spiritless, and despondent with fear. Or become faint with weariness and exhaustion. Mm -hmm. Now, it is the gospel that brings light to my saint. It is the gospel that points out or brings light to my saint. Okay. Remember last week we talked about an illustration. I had I had the mirror stuck in the Bible. And the mirror showed me where my blemishes were. Yeah. Yeah. And, 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 and it's the nature of the gospel to let us know where we have come short of the glory of God. And, and then, not only that, not only does it let us know where we've fallen short, but it lets us know how to make the mark. Jesus, help me all the uh, The nature of the gospel brings light to my sin, but also lights the path. To Jesus Christ. Psalm said, Thy word is a lamp unto my feet, a light unto my path. Come on. Mm, mm, mm. The Holy Spirit is the one that turns the light on. Yeah, thank you, Lord. Okay. Mm -hmm. thank you, Lord. See, we, we often miss the role of the Holy Spirit in salvation. It's the Holy Spirit that without the Holy Spirit, we cannot get saved. Because the Holy Spirit turns the light on and lights the path to Jesus Christ. Okay, how do you know this, Pastor? Okay, I'm glad y'all asked. I'm glad y'all asked. Romans 8 and 9. Romans 8 and 9. It's up on the screen in the Amplified Version. It says, but you are not living the life of the flesh. You are living the life of the Spirit. If the Holy Spirit of God really dwells in you, directs you and controls you. But if anyone does not possess the Holy Spirit of Christ, he is not of his. Meaning, he does not belong to Christ and is truly not a child of God. So that means we are not even saved without the Holy Spirit living within us. Because it is you. Let me tell you something. When I got saved, I didn't have a sense to come to Christ on my own. So, that's what this verse says. This verse tells me that because of the Holy Spirit taking me by the collar and bringing me to the knowledge of the gospel of Jesus Christ, that's how I got saved in the first place. Thank you, Lord. Let me tell you how. Let me tell you how. Y'all might be interested in how. This light, glory, majesty of Christ. This light, glory, 
majesty, dignity, beauty of Christ. This light, this glory, 